So I've been talking a lot about this story about Liz Cheney, who is Dick Cheney's daughter, uh, who is getting into uh, a lot of scuffles with the GOP, and at this point, essentially at war with the GOP. And this is a really big deal because it's going to largely determine the outcome of the Republican Party in the near future or the long future. Um, but this article headlines is GOP frustration with Liz Cheney, quote, at a boiling point. So it's really reaching its peak right now, supposedly. Um, recall that, uh, you know, she did say she's not ruling out a future bid for the White House. I think she's going to run in 2024. I think she's already setting herself up to run as the anti-Trump Republican that's going to bring the Republicans back to being the old shitty ones rather than the new shitty ones. Um, <clears throat> She also fist bumped Joe Biden, which got a lot of backlash, but plays well into what she's trying to do, um, you know. And so it says some pro-Trump Republicans say 2022 is too long to wait to oust Cheney, who demonstrated this week she will not be silenced. Three months ago, Cheney easily survived an attempt by Trump loyalists to force her off the House leadership team for voting to impeach Trump. Now, some of those GOP colleagues who rallied to her defense in that 145-61 vote are saying it's time for her to go and that it's only a matter of time before Cheney is pushed out of leadership. Quote, it's at a boiling point. This isn't about Liz Cheney wanting to impeach Donald Trump. This isn't about Donald Trump at all. It's about Liz Cheney being completely out of sync with the majority of our Congress uh, conference, said one GOP lawmaker who said Cheney's antics this week were the focus of a flurry of text messages with House colleagues. Quote, as we're focused on unifying the Republican conference and our mission to win back the majority, she is focused on the past and proving a point. She is alienating herself from the conference, and I have to imagine if she doesn't resign, there will be a new vote in the near future, and the result will be lopsided in the opposite direction of what it was before. She, mo she may go down in a second vote, added a second GOP lawmaker who had voted in February to keep Cheney in her leadership post. Um, <clears throat> representative from Texas says, Liz Cheney has promised she will campaign on impeaching Trump, quote, every day of the week. Good luck with that, Liz prediction she'll be out of her GOP leadership role by month's end so you know there is some pretty big I mean this is a civil war is what you're seeing right now you're literally seeing a civil war um in real time it's all of the at this point it's become a situation where it's basically everyone versus Liz Cheney because she's clearly trying to uh set herself up as being the anti-Trump Republican and so even Republicans who may not be like super pro-Trump or even pro-Trump at all, I think the Republicans have come to an agreement like, okay, let, I think they're just trying to push Trump under the rug subtly um, rather than what Liz Cheney is trying to do, which Liz Cheney right now is what she's trying to do. Is she's really trying to uh, go after Trump pretty hard and his legacy and trying to cement herself as the future of the Republican Party away from Donald Trump. So who is going to win this battle? Um... In the short term, it looks like Liz Cheney's going to lose. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if she's going to lower her antics because they have garnered her a ton of attention. But I do think in a second vote, it will either come close or she will be voted out of her leadership position because she's simply not in tune with the rest of the GOP leadership. They're just on a different wavelength, right? So why would you know they be able to stay up? I don't see it happening. And, um, you know... She'll probably be out of the leadership unless she lowers her antics and builds the cohesion there. Uh, but in the long term, who's going to win? I would say, I don't know. It's hard to gauge. I'm not really sure. Are you going to go in the Trump fake populist direction? Or are you going to go in the George W. Bush direction? I really don't know, to be honest with you. But what you're seeing right now in real time is this is the Republican Civil War that will ultimately you know, determine their future.